often asked about the different object types or um, entity types inside of Magnet Office, and I want to look at the importance of the different types. So we're all used to lines and polylines. That's what we've dealt with in the CAD world forever. And Magnet supports those. When we look at a polyline, a polyline is either 2D or 3D. But when we refer to it in 3D in this sense, it's referring to a flat elevation. It's a consistent flat elevation. When we get into 3D entities where we're talking about machine control and building models, now we're talking about true 3D lines with varying elevation in the magnet world or in the Topcon world, even if we're talking pocket 3D, now we're talking string lines. Okay, so my big differentiation between these are polylines are flat, consistent elevations, and string lines are elevations that vary. To throw another element into this mix, we can look at polygons. Now, I have tools under modified to convert different entity types. I can also do this by double-clicking and saying convert. So let's convert this building to a polygon. I'm not going to set points to use in surface. I'm not really interested in the points per se. What I want to do with these is I want to apply hatching. I want to shade this building in. And I can do that by converting it to a polygon. I'll set the pattern. And now that polygon is shaded. Okay, I can tell it whether or not there's opacity as well as other information about how this boundary should be handled. Another thing we can do with lines and strings, just for general reference, again, fastest way to get here is to double click. I can work with all data, just the points or the strings. In this case, I'm gonna use the string and I'm gonna tell it that this string line has annotation. Now that annotation will be the bearing and distance. So I can quickly get the bearing and distance placed on those lines. There are other ways to do it. These are some of the capabilities you have. So what do we mean when we talk about the 3D strings? If I were to edit the elevation of this polyline, I can only set it to a flat elevation. So in this case, I'll do 585.5 has elevation true. And that's now set to 585. I'll go to the display and tell it to show me elevation instead of the number in code. And there's my polyline. It's set to this elevation. There are no points. We could go in and create points for this, or we could simply convert it from a polyline to a string set the points to use in surface, absolutely. Now those have elevation, again, because it's a polyline, it's flat. And then we'll use the edit string command to modify. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this point. This is 585. I can do different things here. One, I can pick everything in this list and turn the control off. So now the elevation is interpolated between these points. If we take the point in the middle and set that to 586, everything is interpolated from elevation 585.5 to 586, and then from 586 back down. This is the importance of strings. When we get into 3D data, it's important that we're using strings. This is also where I could come in and densify so I can add string points. So every 10 feet and every two feet in curves, interpolating the elevation. And now we create additional data. When we're doing surfaces, additional data means additional triangles. Okay. So that's a high level look at the different entity types and showing that Magnet Office can support those. So the items that we're used to dealing with, lines and polylines, we can deal with. Anything that is 3D, 
what we would know in the CAD world as a 3D polyline is referred in magnet as a string line. The majority of the entity types that I want when I'm building 3D data inside of magnet are string lines. This is going to translate best into pocket 3D as well into magnet field and other field applications. For more details on CAD basics, on entity types and object types inside of Magnet Office and working with these, please look at the amazing content available on MyTopCon now for Magnet users today.